Hey, welcome to another one of my maintenance videos for the X500 series tractor. This one uh, is going to be changing the coolant. So this is very specific to the liquid cooled engines. So this one is a X540. So this does not apply, apply to all of the X series tractors. I'm going to be following along in the John Deere manual, reading it step by step so that you don't have to. What made me want to check on the, the coolant level was uh, I noticed my overflow tank was pretty empty. I'm pretty bad about checking it on a consistent basis. So it's springtime now. Um, it looks pretty... There's a little bit of fluid at the very bottom, but really not much so i need to do a better job of keeping track of that focus 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 according to the manual the first thing we're going to do is drain the system which is uh, this guy right here so i need to find a funnel situation that'll get the coolant from there to my drain pan there. Looking at the manual, again, the first three steps are kind of always the same for any maintenance thing. Park the machine on a level surface, allow the engine to cool and raise the hood. I have the hood off, so that's uh, not a big deal. Uh, gives you a, a little bit of a warning here. Uh, just saying that the, the drain plug will get most of the coolant out. That might not get all of it out, but uh, I think for my purposes, I'm just gonna do drain plug B. And I guess step four here is loosen and remove the radiator cap. That's the engine's cold, so that shouldn't be an issue. And then we're gonna pull the drain plug. Easy enough. So the drain plug is a uh, 12 millimeter uh, bolt. So I have my funnel here kind of ready to catch this. Well, that was fun. A little more fluid than I thought there would be at first, but we're supposed to just kind of let this drain until it subsides and it's still, uh, it's still going pretty good. So we'll just kind of let this hang out for a minute. Okay, it was going really slow for a little bit and now it's definitely picked up speed. I haven't spilled anymore like we did at first, but uh, eh, it's going pretty good now. So my radiator was pretty dirty. It had a lot of uh, cotton wood and stuff stuck into the fins. So obviously that's uh, gonna restrict its ability to cool. So I went ahead and pulled it off the machine. I tried vacuuming it at first, that didn't get everything. So I rinsed it off with water, hit it with the pressure washer, blew it out with some compressed air from the air compressor. Uh, everything came out great, got it all cleaned up, and got it installed back on the machine. And now it is time to fill with coolant. We are on step three of the filling, and it's pretty basic. Fill it through the radiator cap. It's looking for about three liters. And for once, the specified metric in the manual of liters 
is actually the same metric they specify on the bottle. So less math required. This is the Cool Guard 2 purchased from the John Deere dealership at a cost of about uh, Cool Guard is $13.44 a gallon. They sold me two. Uh, looks like I'll just need the one. The next few steps involve running the engine, warming it, getting it up to temperature, shutting it off, checking uh, the coolant level, uh, and just kind of making minor adjustments from there. So I went ahead and did that, pulled it outside, let it run uh, for about uh, 10, 15 minutes or so. I think I got it decently warm. Uh, I went ahead and filled up the overflow bottle. I went on the higher side of the spectrum there. I'm assuming that through using it, uh, eventually there will be uh, some air in there that will purge out and then it'll go down a little bit. But uh, again, I'm just going to keep, keep checking it, keep using it, keep an eye on it. And uh, this project of changing the coolant is done.